There's two things that you're gonna find out. When MLF's coming to town, you know we're bringing the cold with us. The cold front's coming, and we headed west right into the cold front. It's going down this week. Practice gonna be fun. I'm sure them bass are gonna be just snapping over here. They're gonna be blowing up on my swim jets. <laughs> Through ice. Unreal. We got power trucks driving with us. They got power poles too. They, literally, that was power poles on a trailer. Yeah. They're bringing new power poles over here because all this stuff's going to ice over. Oh, deja vu. I kind of like it though. Because last year it iced over and we got that dub. Should we open the channel right now? Open it up. We kind of are. All right, we're opening it up. Here we are, guys. We're This is the travel vlog. We are en route. We're headed west. It even tells me right there. W for wind. So we're, uh, we're headed west, we're headed to Louisiana. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a little trip south. We're gonna have a little pit stop today. We're gonna meet J-Dub. Uh, we're gonna meet them at a couple little sneaky places, little lakes down here. I heard they got a few bass in them. Jacob's filmed there before. I've never been there, but I've heard they got some bass. So we're gonna go film some more content down there, but we're en route to the fire ponds. We gotta start the season off real good. Might well go ahead and get a little bass thumb going before it gets super cold. So we getting started. I can't wait. Week this year, the space company is coming off of a year that's going been... on, man. Hey man, what's up? I'm in Great Jackson, Mississippi. Right? Is this Jackson or Brandon? Jackson. Brandon. Brandon. Yeah. Nice How you doing? What's your name? Bobby Hannon. Bobby? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Man. I just wanted to tell you, I follow y'all. I appreciate it. We're filming right now. Y'all yeah. say hey to y'all say hey to my man right here. Hello. Uh, yeah, well, I appreciate it. Yeah, we're headed to Monroe, Louisiana. Right now? Yeah, right. headed there now. We start our tournament uh, on Saturday. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. Man, I seen you. I said I had to I had to say something. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. Good luck to you. Yes, sir, you too. Oh, right, we're in Jackson, Mississippi. We're Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go. We are in Brandon, Mississippi. Let's go, Brandon. So, like, right over there is Ross Barnett. Man, that's where it all kind of came together for me. I won that tournament there in uh, a few years back. I love Ross Barnett, so I got to give out a big shout out to all the Reds folks. That's what they call it right here, the Reds. And if you, big, big fact. If you uh, if you come here in the summertime, the Reds they know how to party. Literally, there's little beaches up that river. There'll be hundreds of people down through there. So y'all send me a comment below. Let me know what beach to show up at in about July. I'm gonna come hang out with y'all. Sound good? Ross Barnett. Let's freaking go. We're in route. Try to get a hold of. We're supposed to meet him over here in this lake. He won't answer. He's busy. I got a feeling I know what he's doing. J Dub, man, just giving you shouts. D Sizzle, um, just giving you call. I was, I was gonna see if there was catfish in those lakes because uh, more than likely, by the time you we get there, you don't caught every damn bass in there. So we'll just do, we'll film some catfish videos. So uh, I'm gonna dig up some earthworms. Go be stop stop by a grocery store, get some chicken livers. I'm not done. I'm not. I'm not done. If I was still recording, you done caught them all. We're trying to go film a, a bass, no, we're trying to go film a, a, a bass fishing video at some of these little fire ponds. Jacob got out here at daylight. We're rolling up at one o'clock. I guess when you snooze, you lose. He done caught every bass in there. If we drive all the way over here and don't catch no bass, I'm gonna be like, bruh. We're just filming a catfish video. You like catfish? I like catfish and I don't like catfish. It's transitioned to a catfish video. He doesn't call every bass in it. Don't doubt Jacob. He'll catch every bass that bites in there. We're going to be catching the ones he already caught. Jaw half hanging off. 
ripping lips. You got some bass? I'm not saying he's got some bass. I'm just saying he's got some bass. Uh, Y'all heard it. Jacob Wheeler said they has got bass. So I don't, I don't know. I'm just going to tell you this. Hey, you're going to see when you get to the gate. Ooh, does it look good, though? Jurassic Bay. Hey, when you get to the gate, you're going to be like... Hey, it's gonna be like that feel of like going to Jurassic Park. What was it? What what's my man say? Welcome to Jurassic Park. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Oh me. Alright, I see you. I'll see you in a second. We made it. Look at this guy. Look at this, look at this bass fisherman right here. Y'all might know him. You might know him. You might have seen him before. I'm coming in hot. No, I'm coming in hot. Hey. What about it, boys? Can we come catch some of your bass? Hey, they ain't mine, but man, I think you can catch a couple. Man, <laughs> I, 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 I'll be honest with y'all. I've had a, a lot of experiences around lakes, though, but I heard this one's pretty daggum good. This thing took me to a whole bunch of ponds. He said, man, this thing has got I'm trying to go catch me a bass. No, <laughs> boy, ain't no way. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Hey, he already got bass on. <laughs> hey, look, that's how you roll into a derby. You just go ahead and start the year off with double <laughs> bass thongs. <laughs> you gonna need band aids? Unreal. Hey, I'm not gonna need a Bedarbo though. <laughs> no, hey, go ahead and knock your bass thong hey, out. Get my bass you get there. Out. Nah. Let's go get a little bite from a little bass. We're gonna do a little challenge out here. Y'all are gonna see this later, but we're stopping right now. Like, I wish y'all could join us real time. But this is like our travel vlog, but we're smashing. We're about to smash. So this video is gonna post after the tournament. But we about to go get it after it. Boom. We just freaking smashed. I ain't gonna lie, it was unbelievable. We're, on, we're gonna link hit uh, Jacob's stuff below. Y'all be on the lookout for that video because it's going down in that video. Unbelievable, we've been out here two hours. That joker right there has got a few bass in it. Man, that's all I can do not to catch one right now, right here. Didn't Jacob get mad at me? Oh man, I wanna catch one so freaking bad, but I gotta go. Oh, I'm telling you, I almost went and got my rod. All right, so uh, we just filmed another video for you guys. We uh, we moved lakes. We filmed one over there. We did a, a the cameraman challenge deal, and we just did a big fish challenge. So we caught the biggest one. We had 30 minutes big fish challenge. It's actually a pretty big fish. So y'all be on the lookout for that one too. We out here trying to get after it. They ain't gonna catch they sell. Somebody's always gotta catch them. So why not? Why not be us? And for all my pond haters out there, I gotta throw this. You, Brett, Brett knows this is coming. For all my pond haters out there, y'all be like, <laughs> you always hit the. Ugh. I hit the. Y'all are in a pond. Yeah, we are in a pond, and they was biting. What's wrong with fishing in a pond? I love fishing in ponds, especially fire ponds. That's what these was, fire ponds. So. Big Fish Challenge, knocked it out. Y'all be on the lookout for that. It was a pretty, pretty cool little deal. Y'all might see uh, J-Dub get a little upset on that one. You never know. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Well, I see. But anyway, um, also, we got an update on practice. Um, just got the email. Due to inclement weather. I'll just read it for y'all. This is official right here. Anglers, inclement weather including the possibility of freezing rain and high winds are anticipated for Darbone on Thursday. Therefore, Major League Fishing is canceling day one scheduled Thursday, February 3rd. Uh, we get one day of practice on Darbone. So we got one day of practice till the Derby starts. And then the Derby starts. And then we get to go to Caney on our day off. So I'll be fishing Saturday. I'm going to Caney on Sunday. So a little change up in things, but uh, not a lot. We're sure we'll get a day of practice on each place. But one day of practice ain't really that much. So gotta make it happen. Yes, yeah, so I got practice all day, daylight to dark. Friday. Friday. Wake up the next morning, drive an hour to the boat ramp, because we're staying an hour away. Go fish a tournament. 
come home, wake up, go practice on candy all day, come home, wake up, go fish a tournament again, come home, go practice on bussy again, hopefully make a knockout round, come home, fish a knockout round, hopefully make championship round. Cause I'm hoping I get to fish about seven days straight cause I'm all about it. I love bass fishing, so. I almost did put my cover on, bro. Look at it, it's flying in the freaking window. Hey, look, the dirt roads got them bass, but they also got dirt. My truck is trashed. Look at the mud on my windshield. Look at it on the windshield, it's on the windshield. Oh, it's on the front of my truck. They done went off on this. Well. Well, I guess that works. Okay. What a day. We made it. We finally made it to the house. Holy crap. 15 hours of getting after it. Hey, we had fun though. Ain't no doubt. Glad to be here. lot different a lot different it was 70 degrees yesterday now it's 33 and raining so here we are welcome to the first derby of the year all this now i'm not no psychic or nothing i'm not weatherman i'm not a you see all this right here on the four wheeler you're gonna see icicles here in a little bit because it's already dropping below freezing so we got to go get some headshots done it ain't freezing yet but it's about to be great for a bass derby little man's massive Oh, it's big fact. The whole thing matches. <laughs> Destination's on our left. Duck Commander, Buck Commander. Just slide on up in here. What are you doing, buddy? That way. All right. Here's the rest of these boys. You can sell it. You can do whatever you want to. I'm going to sell it all. I'm going to sell it all. Y'all say what's that, going though. on to Jay Mark? What's happening? I'm just a mail delivery. That's all I am just these days. Mail day. delivery, you know? I am so glad I'm not fishing in this crap. My God. Hey, look, I'm glad they canceled the day. Yeah. We bring the cold and the rain is what we do every time. Yeah, y'all need to schedule this thing for duck season. Yeah, really? That'd be better. Oh, you know they're flying today? Oh, we killed the snot out of it. Killing it. But here I am. Oh, guys, we are in. The room, we don't call this room. That's the duck call room. room, yeah. This duck call room right here. This is where it all goes down at. That's where it started at. That's where it started, right in here. Unbelievable. This, every episode of Duck Dynasty just about started right here with us opining. <laughs> Y'all see it. Y'all sit in that chair. You heard it here yeah. first. Who sits right? Whose chair is yeah. that? It yeah. used to be Jason's. It's now size. Really? So that's where size sits. But yesterday, Phil sat there. We did a podcast yesterday. And that's cool. Phil was in here, gave us a little sermon, you know. That's a cool deal. That moved on down the road. Yeah, it's that's crazy. It's a lot of fun, man. Everything changed. Ain't it? That's nuts. This, Y'all, this, this place blew up. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's what I did. That's what I was doing this morning. I spent about a million dollars this morning on duck call parts. So, wow. this is a time of year it leaves, and then you hope it comes back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you it's send like, it out, and you yeah. hope it comes yeah, back. Yeah, you send it back. Yeah, and then you start selling it about. About June. Everybody about, yeah, they start getting fired up. Yep, June, July. I'm a pumped up about these. I don't think they're on my website. Let me see. Okay, so, yeah, so Dustin's here, and he's going to do a little video about them. So. And if you don't catch them there, you can always go in the back water and get them off. Or something. So we gave us a little tour of uh, Duck Commander, Buck Commander. 
These guys, man, they got the hats. You take care of us. We try to. Make y'all's life easy. Ain't no doubt. Y'all needs people that makes their lives easier. Y'all gonna see him later this week. Yeah. Hey, yeah. appreciate you, buddy. See y'all be good. Mine's in the back. Alright, first look. This is the first look. This is this is we're not a that's what rides have. They got first look. This is the first look. At the jersey, I don't know how it's going to look, but we're going to check it out. Two hoodies. So far, so good. Looks fire. Oh, boy, boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. <laughs> look at this. You got the DC logo right here. All right, got the ding on there. Ding's big. Yeah, Guggen Squad, favorite, Triton. NSR fishing down there, rocking along. Mercury Seaguar sleeves. Got the Amart right here. That's Mafia. Real tree. That's probably my favorite jersey yet. Boy, 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 let's freaking go. No, that was a little too exciting. We're gonna have to edit that. I'm leaving it. Yeah, man. You're good, man. You can always park hand whenever. We always bring the good weather, don't we? Oh man. Have a good one. You too. Yeah, that's an awesome picture right there. Yeah. What's your name? Jacob Jameson. Jacob. Nice to meet you, dude. Nice to meet you. Oh, second son. Thank you. Awesome. Hey, I appreciate you, bud. Good luck to you. Well, that's the. It's got a small hole that sticks to the top of the base, right? The, the lid on this other one, some of the noodles that were on top are a little bit harder. But, uh, yeah, throw it in. This guy might be better because I have to do it. competing with each other and competing together. Like, that tournament DC oh, and I jumped in so Florida was so absolutely, fun. like, one of the most we fun tournaments. Lit. <laughs> we I've ever had over $74. Absolutely lit. All right, so I'm going to dive into my, my opinion on local tournaments. You didn't really touch on local tournaments. This, this right here, this is like an, an anomaly. You don't ever see me walking around with a thing. Bass Mafia? No. A, 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 a bag full of just... Extra gloves, hey. all that. I got that in my boat, too. I got like seven yeah, pairs it. of gloves. I'll tell you what, sneak at here. This is what you need to bring. Bring one of them. Cut it in them. What? Yeah, that's, 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 that's one. That's about as best, I mean, literally, it's the best thing you could probably grab for lunch. Literally got it stopped at Trader Joe's, picked up. Fully cooked. Fully cooked chicken breasts. And they are fire, by the way. So you just, you ain't got to heat them up. They just, no. Bop. Boy, ain't no way. That's, I, that is the view. You want to need protein to keep you warm. High days, 39 degrees. It probably will not reach that until about 4 o'clock today, though. Yeah, so. but, but realistically, let's be honest about this. You it's know, gonna be cold as crap. It ain't that cold though, because like, look how many times there's big dogs. <laughs> <laughs> it's 27 now. It's not gonna get above freezing until lunch. It's not a big deal though. I ain't really worried about that. I, I, should, I did it before. I, I do it again. Yeah, Somebody I gotta catch them. We're about to get practice day one. It's uh, super cold. It's gonna be kind of miserable. We gotta go find some bass.
a day. Mm. 35 is a high. Got me three. Three bites all day. Oh, yeah, I'd oh, rather oh, be sitting on the couch all day, to be honest. Right? In front of the fireplace? Yes. Hey, hey, low key, I would have been just as productive. Like, really, I didn't figure out nothing all day. I figured out something that's super tough. You just go grind all day. That's all you can do. Cover it up with that and make it good. That's it. That's all I'm doing. No, you ain't. I ain't throwing it in there with nothing. There ain't nothing to throw it in there on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is some ranky dank. <laughs> Dude, there's no way. Yeah. Hold up. Let's cook. Yeah, it will. Let's cook this chicken first and then we cook this. How long was it? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Shut that thing right there. Yeah, it's all, the all the same uh, heat. Yeah, it's gonna no, there's no way. No way <laughs> yeah, it is. All the same heat. Ain't no way, boy. Oh, all right, that wraps up practice. Um, man, it was pretty slim out there today. The high was 35. Probably the coldest day of fishing I've ever been in. 35? The coldest? Well, 35 was the high. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I, this is the thing, okay? That wind, I ain't gonna lie. So, Mark, this morning, I wear those, like, wool gloves with, like, the fingertips cut out of them. Can't do that. Well, I realized that about, about, <laughs> when I launched. Can't do that. And I had, I had glove, I had, like, my fleece gloves on, and then I put them suckers over, so I had two pairs of gloves on. I mean, I, I was, like, the abominable snowman out there, and I still was a little chilly. Yeah, it was bad. It was. I had to put on toasty toes, so what I did. You what? Was it? I put these muck boots on and to I, toasty toes. Toasty toes. Toasty put them toes. right on top of these right here to keep your toes Man, toasty. You put them on your toes. You got adhesive on it. Yeah, you got adhesive. So I had to put them on. So anyway, this this is the deal. Practice, darbone. Scale one to ten. I want, I want the rating. Negative four. Negative four. Hey, sure. it was. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. It is very difficult out there. It difficult. <coughs> very difficult to generate a bite. Very difficult to generate. Do you figure out a pattern? Which I don't have a problem if it's hard to figure out a bite, or ha hard to get a bite. But if you can figure out a pattern, then you're all right. But, but you don't it's have a lot of really a clue whether, uh, hey, if we can get bit on riprap or we get bit on backwaters or cypress trees or main lake stuff. But when you get a bite here and then go four miles without a bite, and then you get like, oh, that might have been a bite. And then after that, you catch like another pound and a half. You're like, oh, this is just one of them deals. You're just going to have to hodgepodge. I fish tomorrow. We got one day of practice on this lake. Water temps dropping daily. I mean, this morning, it was warmer this morning. It was this afternoon. Yeah, but you have a sunny day. It's flat, calm conditions. Even yeah. though it's a high of 49, that that, that sun does a lot. And now, yeah. it may, it might, I mean, you'll have a bite window in the morning. You know, a bite window in the afternoon and past, you know, past one, one two o'clock when that sun gets a little bit lower. It's going to be brutally tough to get a bite, but... You have to be mentally, you have to keep that in your mind. I've fished tournaments like this before. I'm sure you have, yeah, everybody absolutely. has. Every bite will count. Like I work no matter like big I, time. I'm telling you, this will be a brutal. There tournament. will be several anglers in this tournament. To have bites and lose them. And they lose the fish to make the cut. There are multiple fish to make the cut. Yes. Like we're talking, I'm going to give you all an estimate for the cut. I'm gonna say it's gonna be less than 12 pounds in two days. I'm, I'm gonna say about like 32 pounds. No, I'm not. around. Yeah, I, I would say, I would say, I would say less than 12. People's, yeah. 12 people's weight. Yeah, I should get it. I mean, it's tough. Like, listen, listen, thing. I, I'm super positive. Yep. Always have been. Uh, and I'm all, not. I won't speak it. It sucks. <laughs> it sucks. And so, like for it me, like I, I try to like I try to take a positive light on something. Cup half full. Well, this week cup half cup is half empty. <laughs> it's, it's, it's gonna be brutal. It's not that bad. No, really, it is not. So uh, we got all the rods rigged. Me, Mark, and Adrian fish tomorrow. I'm just chilling at the house. We'll see. We may have good a luck, boys. We may have a tournament video for you. We may not. Hey. Hey, you might just post just dead silence. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It'll be a video of me like, hey guys, welcome to uh, day one, Bass Pro Tour, super excited. And then we just go, Psst. 
Well, that sucked. <laughs> that was it. Tournament of Love. Yeah, well, listen, this is the thing. The worst tournament bass fishing day of my career. Perfectly fake. No, no, I'm not even going to bring it in my career. Worst, I, I, tournament, you do. <laughs> worst tournament, worst lake, worst idea ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. I don't know. It's gonna I might fun. quit bass fishing after this. <laughs> hey, look. Bright side. We're back at it. We're back in the house. Having a good time. We go fishing tomorrow. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Until next time, we out.